The world famous Braemar Highland Games gathering is held in Scotland every summer. While there have been gatherings of one sort or another in Braemar since the days of King Malcolm Canmore 900 years ago, the gathering has been run in its present form since 1832. It brings together a collection of athletes in all disciplines, and this includes the famous strongmen who take part in a collection of events that range from tossing the caber to the tug of war. These guys have colossal frames and lift the heaviest weights known to man. And to be able to do this, they need high levels of muscle mass. And it got us thinking, how have strong men built such high levels of muscle mass? And what can we learn about nutrition and growth from them? If you're looking to grow or get bigger, this lesson is definitely for you. Before we get into it, we wanted to let you know that this video was brought to you by Amino. We are a British-based drinks and supplements company and it's our mission to revolutionise the sport and health beverage market using amino acids, the building blocks of protein. To allow us to keep making this type of content, please support our company by heading over to our site or following the links available and checking out our products and services. That allows us to keep making these videos to help you achieve more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below so when we produce more cool content like this, you'll be the first to get it. Obviously, genetics plays a role in these huge guys' frames. If you're from a lineage of tall, thick-boned Vikings, you're going to be blessed with a frame to match. But that being said, genetics isn't the be-all or end-all. We have a huge part to play in things that we can control. And that's what we can learn, is that to build bigger muscles, the energy has to come from somewhere. It won't just magically appear out of thin air. You need to consume it in the form of food and drink. Our bodies are a store of energy in simplistic terms, and to increase or decrease the size of the store, we have the option to affect two variables, what we put in and what we expend. What we expend is harder to manipulate as we are a pretty efficient burning machine due to millions of years of evolutionary processes making us the most efficient survivors of that period. What we can really affect is the input side, and that's where you need to focus if muscle growth is your game. Finding the sweet spot when your calories are above what you expend on a daily basis is the key. Nutritionists talk about 500 calories above your daily expenditure being the optimal range. Any less and muscle growth is impeded and any higher and you will put down too much fat. Using a calorie tracker tool is crucial for your success. Like the old saying quotes, if you can measure, you can manage. We see a lot of novice athletes hitting the weights hard or fiddling with their macros, but they forget to make sure that the amount of energy that they are consuming is high enough. This is the fundamental practice to achieving growth. Eddie Hall, the world's strongest man, was said to have consumed 12,500 calories when he was competing, and obviously this is extreme, but was necessary to help him build the level of muscle needed to become world champion. This being said, not everybody wants to look like a strong man, uh, but using the extreme archetype as a case study is normally a good place for us to start and helps us get our point across so you guys can get to work. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, share and subscribe to our channel and leave any questions or comments in the description below and we will try and answer as many as possible. Until next time, keep crushing it.